teach them that when we are courting to get married and we are in our courtship process we don't cook for a man we don't wash for a man we don't sleep in a man's house let them know that church is not a place to come chase women let them know that church is not a place to come and chase men let them know that church is not a place to snatch husbands teach them that you can't sleep with girls and stand on this altar teach them teach them teach them that one man cannot propose to four ladies in one church sowing seeds of discord in the hearts of the daughters of zion teach them teach them that the fact that they become very successful and they push their money onto the altar doesn't mean we cannot tell the truth to them when they go from teach them they cannot buy the spirit of God and they cannot buy the altar of God and they cannot buy the anointing of God teach them they cannot buy the presence of God teach them teach them if they have a pure heart and clean hands I the Lord will command my blessing upon them teach them that if they fear me I will lay a table before them in the presence of their enemies I will give them a miracle a sign when they go out I shall be with them when they come in I shall be teach them that I make a way where there is no way I cause streams of living water to gush out in the desert place if they will believe me I will open heaven and give them bread teach them if they serve the Lord their God he will bless their bread Bread and their water there will be none barren among them teach them teach them that the Christians cannot go to funerals and drink penis and drink beer and drink water and drink gin and drink whiskey and drink brandy and then come back to church and pray la 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 bashaha as if nothing has happened teach them Teach them that there is something wrong in having a wife and still having girlfriends around. Teach them that when you say you are going to trek and you are saying the trek is at Kumase, teach them it is an abomination when we find you at Senchi. Teach them! Teach them! Teach them! now it is not the power of God anymore it is not the word of God anymore we bring comedians to the platform of God's altar as the preacher is preaching and somebody is what's happening you are looking very sweet this morning somebody is coming from abortion and this can go like Calaba and Toliko thank you Jesus thank you Jesus from a prayer because of one girl who be to me a fabricated tongues Calama and Kede Bashaya why does you and your husband you cannot share the information on your phone why we are only in the cool school they send you messages ah what happened I come around inside guy now and I leave your case to you so don't leave my case to me you should be pampering me small but why 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 a jammy a jammy this is a case of one don't see anything wrong with it Saying things like "Move back, come on, me move back, come on." I can't mind. And then the part don't watch it. And for your body, we have reduced ourselves to madness. Most of the things we do in our churches today are acting, are pretentious, are hypocritical, mimics and gimmicks. The day the Lord Jesus will judge the church, you will know. And you many people who hold on and you fake. Don't be deceived. Not everything that leads to should you make it to heaven. Shocked the kind of people you will meet, and you will be shocked the kind of people you will meet. Repent, turn back. Repent, turn back. What I have realized about the church is that we have embraced the grace of God and then in the embracing we have abused the grace of God. We have taken the weightier matters and the sacred obligations of the things of God and we have trampled it under our feet. God will judge you! 
for the grace you are enjoying and the grace you abuse had it not been for the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ who went on the cross and gave himself as a ransom for us for our salvation and redemption as a matter of fact why will somebody need redemption when you are already free it means that you were condemned to death God will judge you for the grace you are enjoying and the grace you abuse that is why we can bring oil from India and sell it 15,000 Ghana city and call it a beifosro ne Christopher ne tudi echire om di nipa ko jina bola so ni ejare no om di nipa ko jina si e no om jare obi yire ni e de srade srane no fo in the name of akwanchire once you miss the light you are going into the darkness the wages of sin is death and unti 26 no me we 25 no me we 18 no me we 19 no me we hey God will judge you for the grace you are enjoying and the grace you abuse don't bring useless traditions into the church because the simplicity of the gospel is beautiful don't bring any cumbersome excesses and emphasis that does not help anybody the moment you rebuke them then they begin to quote things like we are under grace and not under law i'm telling you ladies and gentlemen god will judge you god will judge you for the grace you are enjoying and the grace you abuse If you take the communion, it numbs your quest, your cravings. That is why false teachings are, are putting off people from coming to eat the communion. I'm telling you, if you take the communion, it is an antidote against the lust in your heart. It is an antidote against adultery. It is an antidote against murders and slanders and uh, all kinds of fleshly and carnal activity. It is a bread and the blood. If you don't eat the body and drink the blood, you do not have life. It is a direction. This is a country. I'm telling Ghana so for that. What I have realized about the church is that we have embraced the grace of God and then in the embracing we have abused the grace of God. We have taken the weightier matters and the sacred obligations of the things of God and we have trampled it under our feet. God will judge you! For the grace you are enjoying and the grace you abuse. Had it not been for the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ who went on the cross and gave himself as a ransom for us, for our salvation and redemption. As a matter of fact, why will somebody need redemption when you are already free? It means that you were condemned to death. God will judge you. For the grace you are enjoying and the grace you abuse. That is why we can bring oil from India and sell it 15,000 Ghana city and call it a beifosro ne Christopher ne tudi echire om di nipa ko jina bola so ni ejare no om di nipa ko jina si e no om jare obi yire ni e de srade srane no fo in the name of akwanchire once you miss the light you are going into the darkness the wages of sin is death and unti 26 no me we 25 no me we 18 no me we 19 no me we hey God will judge you for the grace you are enjoying and the grace you abuse. Don't bring useless traditions into the church because the simplicity of the gospel is beautiful. Don't bring any cumbersome excesses and emphasis that does not help anybody. The moment 
you rebuke them then they begin to quote things like we are under grace and not under law i'm telling you ladies and gentlemen god will judge you god will judge you for the grace you are enjoying and the grace you abuse the time has come for judgment to, to begin in the house of God because the house of God have been turned into the den of thieves the house of God have been turned into a, a pivot of exploitation deception manipulation seduction the house of God have been a place of ridicule the house of God have been turned into playing grounds for charlatans to come and display their words the house of God has turned into the place where we showcase and exhibit flesh and carnality the house of God now has become the place where the people go to hear nonsense and madness the house of God now has turned into the place where the people go to chase girls and, and go and snatch husbands and go and snatch people's wives the house of God has now turned into all kinds of madness where the people don't fear God anymore the house of God has been turned into the place that the moment you begin to talk against sin iniquity transgression and wickedness the preachers will tell you to tone down because they themselves are struggling say a good amen <laughs> so let me use the opportunity to welcome everybody to Dan Kwan some 2019 ladies and gentlemen this is going to be an awesome week I tell you I tell can I hear a shout Hallelujah! This month is a very special month. The month of June, uh, May is a very special month. You know, uh, the number five is prophetic before the throne of God. We do not joke with it. I salute God for everybody who have joined us on ATV, on GN Television, on Facebook Live. I want to thank the team for putting it all together. Thank you, Flight Alabasta. We give God the glory for your lives. And uh, we thank God for, you know, everybody who has made it to this place tonight. It's going to be a very special night. We're going to take our offerings, our first offerings. If wherever you are joining us, you can use the mobile number on your screen to send in your offerings as well. You know, if you want to do it. A Lord bless you richly. I declare over your finances that your sacrifice will be acceptable in his presence. In the mighty name of Christ Jesus, our Lord. Somebody shout amen. 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 It's a shout amen. amen. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, come and touch the altar. Engage the altar. Sing something quickly. Let's work. Your name, will lift up your name. Praise you, 
is one of the most finest composers, you know, songwriters, arrangers, keyboardists, organists, you know, he played with a Winnie by Yukoya for about 20 years, he had traveled all around the place, you know, you know, some come and sing one hymn, that's one hymn, choose your hymn, I wish I could say, sing something, but uh, <laughs> do your thing, you know, <laughs> Let's let him give him a microphone. Yeah. Yeah. Let him sing one. I am. 
And then, Willie, where are you? Quickly, immediately he finished, we can fire. I have limited time. I'm really constraining myself with time. going to do one hymn and actually one stanza. <laughs> Amen. Um, I'm very happy to be part of Down Fansom 2019. And God has been speaking to me through a hymn and I believe that I have to sing that hymn. Come on. Amen. Amen. Um, I've heard a lot of um, this saying that we have to fashion young but it's here fashion for but until I understood this hymn, I realized that we had to for Amen. Um, I believe that we all came to this earth to be born again. Amen. This hymn says that I will cling to the old ragged cross and exchange it one day with a crown. In other words, if you don't have the old ragged cross, you don't have anything in your hands to exchange one day for the crown. Amen. And there are a lot of new polished cross hey. or new polished gospel. But I'm happy that tonight we are going to hear the old ragged gospel. Amen. The old ragged cross. Amen. Amen. That we need that one day we will exchange it for a crown. Amen. So if you know how to say it, let's go.
Sam, we celebrate you and we can't wait to have your choir. They have a powerful choir in Tema First Baptist uh, Church in Tema Community 7 or 8, Community 5. Beautiful choir. I was at his wedding. Hey, the people are serious. Too serious. Thank you, sir. And how is Mrs.? I believe uh, a miracle is on the way because in two eta which and I could see the man can't be a man. Praise the name of the Lord. Sammy, so God bless you. Thank you so much. Can you clap for him, please? Shall we be on our feet and let's share a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, tonight we subject ourselves to the tutelage of your word and the impartation of your spirit. We ask in the name of Jesus that everybody who have joined us will never be the same again. And everybody who is here will receive an overflowing measure of the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. In these last days, we will see your glory because we seek to see Jesus, the Christ, Jesus, the miracle worker, Jesus, a brother of life Jesus the way the truth the life have your way we will be careful to return all the glory unto you in the mighty name of Christ Jesus our Lord somebody shout amen, amen. are you clapping these hands Maybe <laughs> somebody shim. yes sir this is words of eternal life 2019 when we say Dan Kwansam, that's all it means words of eternal life our foundation scripture is John chapter 6 verses number 66 67 and 68 John chapter 60 sorry chapter 6 verses 66 67 and 68 I will want us to read it carefully and then right after that yeah, I will allow you to take your seat. The Bible said from that time forward, his disciples, many of his disciples walked no more with him. And uh, Jesus said unto the twelve, Will you also go? Simon Peter answered and said to the Lord, To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. And uh, he went on to even say, And we have believed and are sure that thou art the Christ. If you will study carefully, this is the second time Peter is making a prophetical reiteration that Jesus is the Christ. The first time, you know, you know uh, he said flesh and blood has not, have not re revealed, did not reveal this unto you. But my father, which is in heaven, you know, when Peter said, you are the Christ, son of the living God. Watch it. We work in a revelation tonight. So the second time Peter, yeah, so many, you know, expositors of the word of the Lord or pulpiteers have, you know, reduced him to, you know, that Peter there, now we pray too much, Peter there, and all that. But the guy has a revelation of the Christos. As I have always said, that Christ is a revelation. Christ, he is a revelation. I cannot teach you Christ. Nobody can teach you the Christ and say the Christ is A, B, or C. The Christ must be revealed to you. So in between my mouth and your ears, there must be a revelation going on right now. 
Between my mouth and your ear should be a revelation. Between my mouth and your heart, your spirit must be a definite revelation. Serious one. Hallelujah. So he is saying, you are the Christ. Very straight. Not beating about the bush. And even made it very interesting. And uh, we believe and are sure that thou art the Christ, son of the living God. Awesome revelation. Will you? You are in the Italian, you are in the Italian, you are in the Chrono, you are in the Radio Samuti. A free and a son. Let's see how much you are in the Chrono. 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 Nia jie di nia hunu se uni nyanko pa kunkru ni no. Ena yesu si du mi yonu ne se. Monsu mo pese mo kobi ya na. Si mo petro buwa ne se. Erade. Wa en chen ye bekro. Wona awa dan kwa nse. You have words of eternal life. Nia jie di. And we believe. Nia hunu se. And know. Uni nyanko pa kunkru ni no. That you are the Christ. Son of the living God. That is why we are here this week. The whole of this week is going to be a very special time, ladies and gentlemen, in the presence of God. We seek to see the Christ. We want to have a revelation of who Jesus is. Jesus the healer. Jesus the Messiah. Jesus the son of the, the, son of the living God. Jesus the bread of life. Jesus who can turn all situations around. You know when uh, Sam was uh, 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 Playing the hymn and singing the hymn, I I had a revelation of uh, a scripture, Second uh, Corinthians chapter eleven, verse number four. I realized that this generation have found another Jesus, not the real Jesus, another Jesus. Oh, there is another Jesus. The moment he mentioned a polished cross, then I realized there is another Jesus. Another Jesus is in the scriptures. The Bible said in 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 4, if he that preached another Jesus, another Jesus, clearly another Jesus, another Jesus, the people are calling Jesus, but apparently it's another Jesus. Another Jesus. In the party, I saw them on the woman names another Jesus and woman we engage another Jesus. He that cometh for for if he that cometh preach another Jesus whom we have not preached, or if you receive another spirit which ye have not received, or another gospel. Daniel, it is not just. Another Jesus, another spirit, and another gospel. And and sorry, Abagana, and the set when you are mere suffer and swing your beer. A set when you are mere suffer. A set when you are home home, but in your beer. One share, I'm quite here, boy. In the name of church, I'm talking to you. You better hear the revelation of what we are talking about tonight. When you're careful, you will miss, you will miss the real Jesus. And you'll be dealing with another. I can, I can give you a counterfeit dollar. I can give you a counterfeit 50 cities note. And you may feel it is 50 cities, but another 50 cities note. But you're telling you. And Chira Chira Ababano seeks to make you comfortable, even in your sin, iniquity, transgression, and all that. And people find nothing wrong with that, ladies and gentlemen. So, damn, grand some words of eternal life is to settle us and to put us on our toes and to put us on the edge for the Christ so that we will not miss the lane, miss the way, miss the truth, miss the light. I'm talking about Jesus tonight. I'm talking, you know, when I look at the way we have misinterpreted and misunderstood and misapplied the Christ. Can you imagine that? Jesus! We don't talk about him. We don't preach about him. The pulpit of 
turn into something else. Something else. Another spirit. Another gospel. Another Jesus. Another spirit. Another gospel. Our church has turned into business. Somebody can start a church, build a building, put up everything nicely and employ Mama Comfort. That you are the pastor. End of man, come and render sales to me. And they'll say, this man's kind of my papa. The sales didn't come this man. So if you don't, you know, pull your weight, we will fire you and employ Enolisi. The gospel has turned into another gospel. Another spirit. Another Jesus. This Jesus is very comfortable. This Jesus has nothing wrong to say about the modern day church. This Jesus has nothing wrong uh, to talk about the promiscuity of the church. The filth of the... You may be seated in the presence of God. The filth of the church. If you are on Facebook, I want you to do me a favor. There is Jesus have given me and you an assignment. The assignment is go ye. And you people have been sitting in your rooms comfortably. So what you will do for me is to press the share button and then you will fulfill the great commission. Do that for me right now. We want to take it very far. And not that Jesus. Now we don't hear words of eternal life. It has become so comfortable. The church sees nothing wrong with a preacher making babies out of his matrimonial home because it is another gospel. Another gospel. Another gospel don't talk about eternal judgment. That everything we are doing, we shall account. Another gospel. Don't talk about that. Another gospel has nothing wrong you know when we don't preach about the rapture hey another gospel we don't talk about the rapture we feel that hey we bought another land at east Ligon, another one at cantonments we're going to build the next heart one and build the next one and we are on this project and we're going to go to another project and ladies and gentlemen i am talking to you when we believe in another gospel it is normal you know everything is about prosperity you'll be blessed and be blessed but the people have become blessed yet they don't fear god they have gotten some substance, some money, some revenue, yet they don't fear God. I'm telling you, what's your name, sir? Eric, there are many people who do what you do. And they have nothing wrong when they impregnate church girls, instrumentalists. I'm telling you, one group of people that have pled havoc to the, to the body of Christ. Man, I'm catching up. One group of individuals in the body of Christ now who feel they are doing God a favor. The church, they feel they are doing us a favor. They come and play right after play. They want us to split the offering into three and give them one part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come with. I wonder what they want our portion to be. Another gospel has been preached. The another gospel don't talk about heaven. As a matter of fact, there is no heaven. To them, there is no heaven. Right? I mean, let's talk about, tell them they will have a double portion and a triple portion and all stuff like We are not saying that God will not bless you. We, we are not saying that God will not lift you. We are not saying that God will not elevate you. We are not saying that God will not favor you. What we are saying is seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness and all other things. Bring them here, bring them here, bring them here. Agomawili and your team, come, come, come. I have seats for you. All right here. Clap for them, let them come. Clap for them. Your sincere, let them get a seat. Yep, clap for them. Praise the name of the Lord. 
Thank you very much for coming. We really appreciate it. These are sons and daughters of my father, Reverend Steve Mensah. He come from the Charismatic Evangelistic Ministry, not Legon, to be with us. Thank you very much for coming. Great, great, great gospel musicians. Hallelujah. Another gospel. Will you? This is a very serious thing. The another gospel do not talk about that one day we shall all depart from this earth. The sad thing is that we are going to go one by one and nobody knows the day which they will depart. In another gospel, I made the church so comfortable. You will be wealthy, you will be rich, you will not die, you will never die, you will never die, you will live forever and declare the works of God. A lie and a deception. That is not truth. This is not the real gospel. For we are dust and dust, we shall return. We are in from Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, you only put momentum. If you read Job chapter 24, verse number 23, there's a revelation that the word of God talks about. I will read English, I will read three. Then I will connect it to a few other scriptures and then talk to you. Will you read three very quickly? Let's hear you. The Lord is trailing you. Close marking. Close marking. Anyhow, I'm telling you, this is the time for people to hear words of eternal life. Eternal life. The church don't talk about. That is one terminology the church don't mention today. We don't even mention, are you born again? Are you saved? Is your name in the book of life? Does Jesus know you? Do you have a relationship with the son of the living God? We don't talk about this anymore. We are busy teaching people how to get a mortgage. How to get a loan facility. How to write a resume, a curriculum vitae, how to pass a job interview. Is this our job? Mm? Where are the university lecturers? Where are the career consultants that we are going to be telling church people? And don't you even understand that when the spirit of God is in you, the Bible said the same anointing is a teacher and the anointing teacher to you. The truth and not the lie. I'm talking to somebody. That's why first John chapter 2 verse number 27 he talks about the anointing being a teacher. Only English really. He talks about the anointing being a teacher. And you're dying. And I'm going to say also and you have turned into a fool. And I'm going to say also and you are unemployed. Somebody better be talking to me. Why we are still struggling when the Holy Ghost lives in you. I should be getting answers from that. Read the word of God. But the anointing which you have received of the him. The anointing which you have received from on high. Abided in you. It abides in you. And you need not that any man teach you. But you tell you. Even the anointed person doesn't need a career consultant. The same anointing to us all. But the same anointing teaches you all things. The same anointing teaches. The same anointing will teach your hands and fingers how to make wealth. The same anointing. And then the people don't talk about even the, you know, we have become too sophisticated that we have drifted away from the fundamentals, from the rudiments, from the basics, from the basic principles. You know, when we became born again, the Bible taught us things like for those he did for know, he also called. And for those he called, he justified. And for those he justified, he has also glorified. Now the modern day Christians don't even know about this doctrine. They are not taught about this. All they want to know is how to get a new car, how to get it. And that is why we are people in church right now who are not even baptized. A super, a mom. I'll be a Christian here more. Because they don't teach the need and the importance and the essence of baptism in the house of God. Dear words of eternal life. That's what we are talking about. I want to ask you a good question after you have enjoyed all the cars and enjoyed all the life and enjoy your wife and your husband and enjoy your children and spend your money then what next? What next? I'm talking about eternal life. 
Jesus made it very clear to us. Uh, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Because God knows his plan after this life. And I'm reminding you that after this life there is another life. Today, there is another life. The Bible said, and Lazarus died and he was carried into the bosom of Abraham and the rich man died and he was buried. And then he went to hell. Read, this is Jesus speaking. Who? He went to hell. There is a hell. And I'm reminding you that the church fathers didn't create hell. They didn't invent hell. You know, people have become so blasphemous to the point that they can boldly talk about things like the, it is a Catholic church who intentionally wrote hell. And, and you will find people in clerical suit talking nonsense. Talking madness and absurdity. Nanko will be our sofa dear. One no, as I said, Kuranim dear. Now sofa no, we are in Shesu, Emma Fufro, according to Malachi chapter 2, verse number 7. Or sofa, Nano Kuranim dear, or you are in Shesu, Emma Fufro, or sofa, Uncle Kankwa Siasem. Dear! Yamini Pa, Uncle Kankwa Siasem. Now sofa Bokola. And they said things like there is nothing wrong in marrying many wives. Another gospel. Another. I was at Star FM last year and I met a young man who is a pastor who have taught and lectured in a Bible school and written books on polygamy. And he says there is nothing wrong in having many wives. You can marry as many. My first question to him, have you married many wives? He said no. I said why are you teaching madness to people? Why are you teaching your madness? Yeah, you sick. And you haven't gotten anybody to tell you that you have gone mad. Our preachers are preaching from another spirit and another gospel and another Jesus. Second Corinthians chapter 4. Chapter 4. Chapter 11 verse 4. Second Corinthians chapter 11 verse 4. King Kenji, you know. Okay, kind bro. For now, we are Read the word of God very quickly. For if he that cometh preacher another if Jesus. He that cometh preacher another Jesus. Gospel, another Jesus. Whom we have not preached. Whom we have not preached. Or if you receive another spirit. If you receive another spirit. Which you have not received. Then we are hearing all kinds of things. You know, me you me who are die much, you know, Baba Dani BP and all kinds of crazy madness and absurdity. This is the last days. False prophets will come, false teachers will come, and false teachings will also come. Another gospel. And if Kaya, which ye have not or another another gospel which another have not spirit accepted, which ye have not received, ye might well bear with him. No, That's you're missing right. something. Start all over again, sir. For if he that cometh preached another if Jesus, he that cometh preached another gospel, whom he have not preached, which we have not preached, or if you receive another spirit, Paul and Ekase, or another spirit, which ye have not received, which ye have not received, or another gospel, another gospel, which ye have not accepted. Oh yeah, so another gospel can tell you that mu na mo ba mo fa si kam fri mo fa ba kam fri mo fi e na ye be chiska ye be chiska we are what you offering mu ye jimi o o mu e chiska na san ji offering huh the people who are giving free money why do they take an offering tell us the deceptive guys feel they are smart. Huh? Because as of no fire, you jimmy. And you mean I'm kind to the crum crum naka. Jeremiah 422. And you bet you jim. Just say you jimmy in a noche to the point that the castle will be here and not watching up. Kenya, they told people everybody come to church without panties, luxury, without braziers, and all that. Come and see nakedness in church. Yeah! King of the and the people can follow it. And next time I see a real near no more, and next time you do holy for food, no more because and uh, you know, Sabrano and Tigaria come for common, and then they have so for Bodundo, and then we, you know, come for Bodundo, and then we have preachers who bring Dundo to church, and the Dundo is for ministration. And now we are bringing all kinds of demonic spirits to the altars of God. Because it is another Jesus, another spirit, and another gospel. Yeah. Sure. 
Cause I'm born a Jew. Daniel, the king of the Jews, and that is why the church have gone to King Jeremiah. How many men do everybody else? If we say my Jimmy, your Jimmy, your Jimmy, Jimmy, your dear, your Jimmy, pa. I'm telling you, your Nima Rade. Why a man can see a four? Can see a four car. No one knew no more. Your pony will answer for. Now, Papa, I did. Papa, I did. We need King Cabo from me too. Yeah, Honor Jeremiah King Kaho 422. Speak it in English. Let me address my audience from around the world and tell them the heart of God to God's people. And then when you make do a year, Christ who and do a new hope you. And then if you are looking for people who are addicts and lovers of the gospel and the word of God, it is no more that the people are not ready to hear the gospel. They are rather ready to hear feebles and madness and fairy tales from the gospel from the pulpit. And then is why they are busy preaching all kinds of have said and all and then the gospel now is the more cars you have the more you know blessed you have become or the more anointed you are the more houses you have in order so the point is the poor people in my village it means that they have not yet met God you have forgotten that the gospel belongs to the poor he has sent me to preach the gospel to the poor. You are trying to even take the gospel from the people it belongs to. I'm telling you, the king of your natural will be in your dreams. Everybody in this building and everybody watching us he needs repentance. You need to repent. The Bible said, He that thinketh his standard should be where well, least he falls. Make us a matter. Oh, Papa, yeah, we, uh, even your righteousness are like filthy rags before God. And therefore, I'm talking to people who are saved and washed in the blood of Jesus who need to understand that this is the time we need to hold our integrity and hold our wholeness as Christians. Don't consume words of eternal life. Another gospel. Another spirit. And another. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, you're smart. Another Jesus. Another spirit. Another gospel. Another Jesus. Another spirit. Another. And that is why we come to church to entertain the goods. Entertainment of the goods. Mponche. Yeah, we now instead of breeding sheep, we are breeding goats. And these goats are not just, you know, these are wild goats. Wild goats. Wild goats. Punching a pim. I'm a pim pim. So if you know about the pim. And punching a pim. Instead of feeding the sheep, we are entertaining the goats. Hell yeah, and the ghosts jump around the place. But upon you watch it in the Kura Wukukuno, I come out saying the corner or the mayor uncle. Who be china china china? They will terminate. They don't talk. Who be dehene and so on. That is the kind of subanya. Yet it is also the emponche subanya. Ponche inyai. You can lead inyai without any cane, without you know putting ropes on their neck. And that is the church Jesus is looking for. Not the goat. If you leave the goat, they will just run away. If you dare open your gate and your goat gets out, your goat will be comfortable that in the night they will not return back. They will rather go where I live. You know, around 12, 1 midnight, sometimes when I'm coming home, I see goats on the road. And I'm a simultaneous year. You should have been in Abekan where I grew up in Fadama, where I grew up with the boom cry you now with that one to the open one and don't call your crown at you so happy my own woman you must say it's in a new mother it woman in punch all over the place i went to south africa and they said they don't eat goat meat i'm so sorry yeah you're bugger meat and you don't eat it who got her said you go so no and in them streets my daughter i can see it and almost i come for and san gomez and in youngest they are the only people who eat goats i'm so weird jimmy more goats my jam I come for and we'll make you can slices slices for changing up it's it's all right sir we'll you praise the name of the Lord I'm talking 
the heart and the mind of God. And not that Jesus. Now, that is why we can fabricate miracles. Acting in church, another spirit. This is Pastor Papa Nicole. Look for a Bible believing church, a good church where there are papa, nyamesompa, shubo, and masra. Look for that church and attend. Not a church where they entertain you. The people are sitting there and the pastor is already interested. I have a wife and there is another, you know, another girl sitting there. I said, you know, when we close, see me, and you are such a nice girl and you are such a. We're talking this in the church office. Oh. Another spirit. Another spirit which you have not received. That is why when I listen to the songs of the, you know, the past generation, when I hear the songs, I hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. Oh yeah. I hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. If I hear those people, when we went to Ligon for the crusade yesterday, I met a young musician, a gospel musician. I met him and I said to him, he came to say hello, I was on my way up. And then I said to him, you are going to be truthful, you are going to be God-fearing, and you are going to submit yourself to the Holy Spirit in your closet, and you are going to hear the Holy Spirit in obedience and live a life bearing fruits of repentance. Now, we grow four no about from all gospel musicians, you know, almost 91 percent. Yakushi four, dear, you send to go on a fan of quack and penache on a fan of quack on my nomans on my no more. You go can on my boy for bra when you're me a slamming one mama. Has anointed me for you. Whether you like it or not. Hey, me me grew foot from which I am. Ye zungo boy, don't try me. Kwa si ye suba ye temu suwa. Munya akasa chile fono. Tia! Kenya miya jia chile mo. Suba on fono. You know, you use the name of the Lord. And create all kinds of demonic precedents. And send na ho boni. Nini pe. Inti na munyo mno bi antono. Tia! And the gospel sales is gone. When you release an album, nobody buys it. They sing the song two, three weeks. It's vanished. John Wesley, Ninia Charles, his hymns, you sang one tonight. I will clinch to the old ragged cross. This hymn is over 300 years. 300 years. Well, it was my favorite hymn. Sing it. Give him the key. D O F. All right. See you. Jesus shall reign where the sun does his successive journeys run. His kingdom stretch from shore. Till sun shall rise and set no Just a him. Look at the anointing that is flow. Kwasi anyomo mkwana. O gospel musicians hito. That is why nobody buys from them. Continue to entertain yourself. They should continue to entertain themselves. Very soon. They will know that the Holy Spirit have departed from them, and there is no oil or anointing that is flowing on their lives. I see a few in the Hallelujah! Praise the name of the Lord. We are also with you, my friend. Can one of our see you, my friend? Jeremiah chapter five, verse twenty. What's this? Man, can you hear your coffee? What's this? Can we ever assert it there? Now, my man, want to know you that say. Now, my man, want to know you that say. Man, see you, yeah. Man, see you, yeah. Oh, my man, can see a few. Can see a few. Man, it's there. What we need. Thank you very Gospel music. This is the kind of people you have. And when we want to talk about it, they don't understand why do you want to talk about it. You are this 
is weak is words of eternal life. Romans grand am dey man e ona wo bo bra fun betena ha. Wo you dey say me dey ho be chawo. Me king am me adwene a chere o die ni e ye ka no. Wo party wo party twene. The gospel must be preached as it is, concentrated, not diluted, not polluted. The gospel, the real gospel. I mean ka asamu jo. If I divorce my wife and remarries another one, it doesn't make it right. Yeah. It does not make it right. It is against the word of God and we have to see it as such. I am going to make a statement. The word of God is the word of God. Can you mention that? The word of God is the word of God. Can you quote that? The word of God is the word of God. It doesn't matter who flouts it. The person flouting it doesn't make it right. The word of God is the word. Of God. God will judge all of you. You shall all be judged. My time is up. Tomorrow, six o'clock, we will continue. I'm closing exactly at eight o'clock. Everybody will be judged, including the Pope. Including all the cardinals, including all the vicars, the priests, including all the reverend fathers and sisters, all of them will be judged. I'm telling you, one day we will step into eternity and it will only be the people with eternal life that will succeed. I'm telling you. Let's read First John chapter 5. Something profound in God's word. And then let's wrap up. We're now looking for people who will represent Jesus Christ as correct and proper ambassadors of Jesus Christ. They will stand and not misrepresent him. I'm talking to you about people who will fear God and eschew evil. I'm talking about people who will tremble at the word of God and really cherish and celebrate the truth. I'm talking about people who will stand for integrity. The yes is yes. The no is no. They will not compromise. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No man no man comes to the Father except through Jesus Christ. Any other means you are going to hell. This truth must be preached. The truth that he is coming back again. Maranatha. If anybody does not love or hate the Lord Jesus Christ, let him be a curse. Let that person wow unto everybody who does not love Jesus Christ because and they, woman cannot, they even don't want us to talk about him. They don't want us to preach about him. They don't want us to sing about him. I'm talking about words of eternal life. Will you? First John chapter 5, verse 11 downwards. Read the word of God. And this is the record. Yeah. Read. That God had given us to us eternal life. God has given us what? Eternal life. Yeah. And this life is in his son. This eternal life is in Jesus Christ, not Buddha. Yeah. Not in any other religion. And I'm going to repeat this truth to you. The God of the Bible is not the God of the other religions. The God of the Bible is Jehovah. Jehovah Elohim. He is not the God of the other religions. Dispute it all you can. The day of judgment, you will know that this is the truth. Period. I will not even waste my time to be quoting all other books. Don't waste my time on that. The God, the Father, Son, Holy Ghost God, is not the God of the other religions. This is a very simple, basic truth. That needs to be preached in our, in our pulpit. There is nothing like religious co habitation and existence. There's nothing like that because Christianity is not a religion. Yeah. Don't paint, don't paint a very wrong picture. You know, that though, you know, as soon as they came to church and because they came to church, we are all one people. Oh, Mali. It's a lie. Tomorrow I will continue. It's a lie. I'm telling you, I'm paying for, you are setting the wrong precedence. Yeah. 
It's a lie. Big, big, big lie. It's a big lie. That's a confessment. How I come for no swabi gugana and man, only a criminal shame will be. I come for a good man, you know, a man, only a criminal shame, man. Go to police CID, no good to your homes. And I don't know why the police don't arrest them because they push money on all those places. This is my comfort. We will double your money. Tia! I see a man today. 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 I see a man Really? I mean, seriously? Se konfo ba ba hanam di akonya we ama ni seti nasi. When me ni me jadi ye yi, me di akonya we, piya! Kasi ya suba, pepe bifa. He that had the son had life. And he that had not the son of God. He that have the son. The Bible said has life. And he that, he that does not have Jesus Christ. Does not have life. Does not have life. You can chant all I care. Anybody Life is too short for you. Jimmy, you grab in a Jimmy Bia, but Jimmy would do baby. I was with Castle and get it right with God. Castle and get the things right with God. I'm telling you because very soon you will be judged. We can get you know, but you'll see now. You're near dancing. So nyankopon ama yedankwa. O nyankopon ama yedankwa. Nankwan wona bani. Asankwa no e woni banim. De owo oba no wonkwa no. Obia owo oba no owonkwa. Na de oni o nyankopon oba no. Obia woni wo nyankopon do ba no oni nkwa. Tio! Ni woni nyankopon ba no memfa ho. Wono na yeden wo yeden oni nkwa. They can be on the some man on the year day on the sea bridge on the boy yeah and they find the cook on Ninyan Kupon Pana Uninqua. You can build orphanages, you can build schools, you can give money to the community, but Uni Yeshua Uninqua. And I'm telling you, Unim that be one tick, you're careful. And give your life to Jesus Christ. Because without him, you don't have eternal life. Tiania! Hey, preacher, the Amanya be Wagana ho. Wunti, Ubeti. Ubeti, when you make the mass, some of the Rubra Bea, Moya, or China, or Pa Ubi, Haube, Hono, Ubi, Haube, Ubi, Ufa, Haube, you cannot avoid the truth. God will inflame the truth and cause the truth to burn like wildfire. I'm talking to somebody right now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. As I bring my message, my God, I feel like preaching now. I want to tell everybody listening and watching me right now that the Son of God has spread out his arms and he said come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and encumbered with the Lord of terror and I will give you rest my burden is easy my load is light I is calling let everybody come let everybody come and drink of this living water he that is thirsty let him come and drink for out of his belly will flow streams of living water ladies and gentlemen he is the bread of life he is the word he is the the truth is the life. No man. Somebody shout Jesus. Jesus. Talking about the Son of God. We live very interesting. John chapter 17, verse 1 to 3. English and key. Read it very quickly. Sit down. We'll, I'm, I'm done. I'm close. Uh, tomorrow, 6 o'clock, we will start. And the grace of God will be our portion. 
John chapter 17, 1 to 3. Read the word of God. These words speak Jesus. Jesus speak these words. And lifted up his eyes to heaven. And, to tear you, God. and said, Father, the hour is come. The hour has come. Glorify thy son. Glorify your son. That thy son may that also son glorify thee. May also glorify as you. As thou hast given him power over all flesh. If I tell you, as you have given him power over all flesh. That he should give eternal life. Clear that the son only, exclusively, should give eternal life. Dampa. It is only the son of God that can give. Not even your pastor. Not even your prophet. It is so sad the way we are worshipping men of God these days. T.I. The men of God here are worshipping. Who knew I'm going to do? I'm going to do. Cook with my son. I'm going to say, who knows how to do that? T.I. What are you doing? Thou shalt make no other gods. Can't say much of them. Very kind. To as many as thou hast given him. Read. And this is the eternal life. This. And so somebody when they ask me what is eternal life, this is the description or definition. Read. What that they might know thee, the only true God. This is eternal life that everybody might know God. And Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ. Whom thou hast sent. This is eternal life. Dear, dear. This is eternal life. Read down. But for verse, verse 3. And this is the eternal life that I might know thee, the only true God and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. He can give me a tear, brother. Yes, sir. Okay. Ye no na yesu kai. No oman and isu tres ro. No kase. No kase. No kase. Eja dona ju. Eze dona ju. Shau ben mo nyam. Shau ben mo nyam na ba su shu. Kwe. Se di oman ho na su tumi. One man wo hum nem na su tumi. Sa adie bia ro di amano no. Me patu tie ye. Omano. Oman wo dan. Adie bia. Wo di ama Jesus no. Omano dan kwa. Na ye ni dan kwa. Wo si we ni dan kwa. Se wo be hum wo. So we bring one of the young couple. No crane young couple crow. No crane young couple on back. No dear was some man. No. And then dear was some man. Yes, Christ. No. Yes, Christ. We bring one of Yes, Christ. We bring one of when you're down. Go. Tiania. So you can be in church and not know Jesus Christ. Who oh, yeah. are? We now call Christ little band fourteen years ago. We now sing him by. We now come when he form. Oh yeah. Praise be made. Teddy Salabasta. How can we hear Teddy? We should be in fear. How the tears are on the moon. Do we need Christ? So it do we need them? The piano and Baba Tree. I say, come by in now. Now answer. We need me some the boom. We need me no more. Oh yeah, you can clap. Oh, we buy no chordy. Yeah. I'm telling you something. Steve, and then no clear why. You can come and sorry them. And so I want to ask, how will the people be saved if you are not preaching the Christ and you are not preaching damn crap? The message we heard and became born again, this is not the message. That is not the message they are preaching in church right now. 14 ways to do that, 3 ways to get this, 14 ways of that, 17 strategies of this, 14 steps to that. Really? Really? We don't have time for Greek and Hebrew. Brother, Drop eternal life. We are ready to accept the Christ. Yes, drop eternal life. In Hebrew, in Hebrew and this, da, 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 da. keep that to yourself in your study room. Preach Christ the deliverer. Christ the healer. Christ the savior. Christ the miracle worker. Christ our soon coming king. Christ the champion of love. Christ oh the essence of life. Christ the pivot. Christ the center that holds. Christ the essence of God's existence. Christ the way the truth the life. Christ the living word. Christ the living water. Christ the living bread Christ hey! stand to your feet stand to your feet let's close stand to your feet are you clapping your hands Christ Apostle Peter, him no pejan yom to say, you da fool no come Jesus Christ, da da ba da 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 da. Asa seba wo so awo, na wo na di a dance. When they lift the song, wo yo nya me pa, a pa. Omo pejan.
Ida Yesu ni wonyo ma obi anani abo pa na te obi a we bubu ni ta no asori ajina ho ena mu kan asori an senchiri ni biensi because we don't talk about the Christ Christ obi a we ya bey for ye peja Yesu ni wonyo ma meka meko 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 instantly demons are cast obi a nobody is laying hands on them Oyo nyameba ampa ampo Oyo nyameba ampa Chuda funu kum Yesu Na Ojuni sawa sana asasi prawusu na motai apapa Haoni na Diata, oyo nyami ba, apa, oyo nyami ba, oyo nyami ba, oyo ampo. I don't see. I love the old ones. You know. Yeah, he rebo. Osuna. Yes, sir. Oswana. Osuma. Daddy. Asuma. Let me hear you say, Asu. Somebody say, Yeah, here Sing about the last time, Yeah. Oh yeah, the songs about the Christ anointing. It's in Musra, it's in Musra. And then go for it. And your diabetes, high blood pressure. And if he did, and he might have done, he no suffer more. I'm gonna say, but if we be, we be not born into ya. Suffer more. A priest. How can demons invade a priest? Huh? Because we have left the Christ. Words of eternal life. Peter said, "You have the words of eternal life." Tonight, there is an anointing for the Christ. Christocentric anointing. Christocentric anointing. I don't know who wants this anointing. Uh, anointing to preach the Christ. Anointing to, oh yes, anointing to sing the Christ. Anointing to be a witness and an ambassador. Who wants this anointing? Hey. Anointing to represent the Christ. I love that song. Hosuma, Nasi, Nanyeko, Napu, Ujeye, Nasu, 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 Manifest. Yadia ni tumi 
Nisa mwesire kasa. Empenize ni etumi wano echinyini ho. Power is talking because Jesus is on his throne. Udihine. Sin dilutes the anointing and destroys the oil of apothecary. Dead flies the causes the oil of apothecary to sting. Tonight, I want to tell the church, come back to your first love. Come back to your first love. Repent and come back to your first love. You have lost it. Mashiach said, King as she has said. <laughs> yeah, let's go sing song. Oh, you know, Jesus. Oh, you know, so Jesus. Let me hear you. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you know, Jesus. Jesus, 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 Tonight we want to ask the Holy Spirit Fill our lives In the name of Jesus Give us the anointing Of Jesus Christ Right now Lift your voices everywhere In the mighty name I I
to commit your life into the hands of the Lord. We rededicating our lives to the Lord. Very important prayer. We want to ask the Lord to write our names in the book of life. We also want to ask the Lord this week, the Lord shall order ourselves and carry us through in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, lift your voice. Spirit of the living God. Our last prayer, every request you have personally presented before the Lord in the name of Jesus and faithful is our God to be to he is able to do exceedingly abundantly above everything you can ask think or imagine in the name of Jesus come on Tiro the casino Words of eternal life. The two hands are lifted up. This is fresh fire for the next move. God is up to something. The last outpouring of the Spirit of God is yet to take place. This outpouring is more powerful than the day of Pentecost. More than any revival move that has ever hit the history of humankind. And God is looking for candidates tonight. People to use. People to use. The two hands are lifted up.
to God to the word of his grace that is able to build you up. I declare that you are that invigorated breed of end time work. You are the end time Christian, the end time militia, the end time soldier standing for Jesus. You will not falter. You will not fail. The Lord will empower you with iron. Empower you with gold. He will empower you. You will stand the test of time. In the name of Jesus. There is no temptation that will overtake you. The Lord will make you stand in the name of Jesus like Mount Zion. God will watch over you. That no weapon formed against you will ever prosper. In the name of Jesus. Receive the favor of God. The love and the grace of God. You are never the same again. After tonight, I declare the fresh anointing, fresh power, fresh move of the Spirit of God, fresh glory of God will overflow you. The Lord will use you mightily. You will be the stone the builders have rejected. You will become the chief cornerstone in the name of Jesus. I prophesy the power of God over you. Go in the fullness of God. You are never the same again. You will never lack any good thing. You are the pleasure of God on earth. In Jesus' precious name. Somebody clap and shout. Give him glory. Somebody shout. Hallelujah. I give God the glory for his favor and faithfulness. We are about to take our offerings. Everybody from around the world, you can join us. Do that if you want to do that. Thank you very much. You can use the mobile money on the thing to do it. Uh, if you are watching from anywhere around the world, you can use e-transact wave. You can also use uh, Express Pay, any of the uh, mobile money apps on the number on your screen and the grace of God will be your portion. Tomorrow evening, 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock, we are here. Tuesday, same. Wednesday, same. Dan Quansom continues to today's week. I will want to pray over your sacrifice right now. I declare in the name of Jesus that your seed will spark a harvest that you have never seen before. And in the covenant blessings of Inshamu Inshamu, the goodness of God will be a portion. In Jesus' precious name, amen. We'll come and engage the altar. Let me invite uh, Minister Maoli, uh, Pastor Maoli and his beautiful wife. And uh, me now, let me, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you you know, next Sunday, my book, my book, next Sunday, I mean, I give the microphone, said, come and engage the altar of the Lord and then we are going to close uh, I took 30 minutes I have 5 minutes to that don't worry where me This is how we sing this song in Ewe. Odenye kunyo uoda Yama su aplode vi Aplode plechi cho Yechi nye asisu Aplode cho ha ha ome Ye akba pek pesia Ye meka nyabosa 
tam ve kluvio, mezu je su to. Menje to wo, menje to wo, hela je su je, pa u čube, to ku menje, neći na se je čube, mezu je su to. Missy, Listen to it in our Baba. God is raising people. He doesn't have time for their nonsense. He's raising new people, new masters. Sunday, Pachawai. Clap for the place. Beautiful husband and wife. Voice of Motunum anointed. And time is up. I'm going to sign up, but let me use the opportunity to thank God for our flight, Alabaster. Flight, Alabaster, uh, the team, you know, uh, behind all our production. I want to thank God for the lives of Andrew, Sesu, and Samuel, Simon, Richard. You guys are amazing. And D, you are not here, but I thank God because you are part of the team. Thank you so much for the love. You have exhibited on photography. I have Bernard, I have Kakra, uh, you know, on the sound. We have Eric and the rest of the guys, Steve, uh, Willie, and uh, the list goes on and on and on and on. And so I'm so grateful to Flight Alabaster. Thank you for the production. Uh, since morning, you have been amazing. The Lord bless you. I'm here, Aduma Ochina, six o'clock we start. Eight, we close. When you are coming from work, come straight. Catch some early, uh, late lunch, and then join us six sharp, and then right after eight, you can go home. 
and uh, rest for the next day. The Lord will bless. All these messages we're preaching are going to be on podcast. This morning's messages on the W3 and the F5 will be on podcast tomorrow morning. So you can go and download, including t tonight's message. You go first, uh, subscribe and follow the page and then you are on. If you are not yet on Prophet Dr. Kofi Odro's main page, you know, like the page. Avoid all the scammers and the fake pages, you know, that have been created in my name. Avoid them. And then the same name on Instagram and YouTube. Uh, get yourself connected. Tomorrow morning from uh, 5 a.m. to 6, Monday to Friday, I'm going to be on OK101.7 FM. Uh, Mid-morning, I will join Reverend and I will suffer on Vision 1, 93.5 FM, uh, preaching God's word. And then on Thursday, I will be with him as well. Tuesday, we are on your television. UTV is a television. I use the opportunity to thank God for Meura Anum. Uh, Dr. Seiko Amit Despai, Dr. Faris Sapon, yesterday was his birthday. We celebrate you, sir. And then Dr. Father Dixon, thank you very much, sir, for the opportunity. We don't joke with it. Uh, so uh, Tuesday, right after the midday news, we are going to be on your television, uh, live on UTV. And then we will be uh, Wednesday dawn, 5.30 a.m. to 6.00 will be on UTV. And then Thursday, right after the mid-news, we are on UTV. And so to just tune in and watch. If you are at work, you can watch it on Facebook, on UTV's uh, Facebook page. And the grace of God will be a portion. We also, you know, uh, in the mornings, I think it's class or number one, they play uh, content from six. Oxy plays it, number one. Number one, from six in the morning, they play uh, preaching. It's Oxy, same thing, 6.15 to 7, they play it. You can listen to it, and God will bless you. Uh, the number to call or get in touch is 0249 That's 0249-809911. Tomorrow we are having new CDs. We are having about 10 new you know, topics, you know, uh, you can get ECD, have five messages on it, and we are having 10. So we are having like 50 messages new messages that you can listen and and all that I have books there you can get our t-shirts i can see lots of the ladies are wearing t-shirts tonight jesus celebration 2019 is only 20 ghana cities get a t-shirt for yourself and the lord will bless you thank you very much for coming and i really love god for your life i will want to sign off thanking god for all the ministers who join uh, you know, Prophet Kinsley Jacobson, thank you very much. Together with the Zion Impact Ministries, we really celebrate you guys. You are amazing. My own pastors, I love you. I celebrate you. Remember when righteousness, breakthroughs, God bless you. I love you. See you next time. What I have realized about the church is that we have embraced the grace of God and then in the embracing we have abused the grace of God. We have taken the weightier matters and the sacred obligations of the things of God and we have trampled it under our feet. God will judge you! For the grace you are enjoying and the grace you abuse. Had it not been for the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ who went on the cross and gave himself as a ransom for us, for our salvation and redemption. As a matter of fact, why will somebody need redemption when you are already free? It means that you were condemned to death. God will judge you. For the grace you are enjoying and the grace you abuse. That is why we can bring oil from India and sell it 15,000 Ghana city and call it a Beifusru. Ne Christophone to the Echiri. Om the Nipa Kujina Bola Sunia Jareno. Om the Nipa Kujina Sienu Mujaren. Who be here near the Sradia Srani Nufo in the name of Aquanchire. Once you miss the light, you are going into the darkness. The wages of sin is dark. And until 26, no me 25, no me 18, no me 19, no me Hey! God will judge you for the grace you are enjoying and the grace you abuse. Don't bring useless traditions into the church because the simplicity of the gospel is beautiful. Don't bring any cumbersome 
exercises and emphasis that does not help anybody. The moment you rebuke them, then they begin to quote things like, we are under grace and not under law. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, God will judge you. God will judge you for the grace you are enjoying and the grace you abuse. Say the time has come for judgment to begin in the house of God because the house of God have been turned into the den of thieves. The house of God have been turned into a, a pivot of exploitation, this 